Hi everyone, welcome back to Technontech TV. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to draw a DFT diagram for college management system. So let's start. Data flow diagram for college management system is used to create an overview of college management. So the overall college management system is represented and described using input processing and output in DFT. So it uh, basically provides information about the inputs and outputs of each process and entity of college such as student, faculty, courses, admin, library, etc. This DFT diagram for the college management system uses defined symbols that presents the system's processes. So there are several notations for displaying data flow diagrams. So I'm using notations that is described by DeMarco and Jordan. So first one is external entities. So external entities are the entry and exit points for data entering and leaving the system. Entities are referred to as uh, terminators, sources, sinks, and actors. Next is process. A process receives input data and process output data with a different form of content. So every process has a name that identifies the function it performs. Next is data source or database. Data source is a table that stores the files or repositories for future use. And last we have data flow. So data flow is the flow of data between external entities, processes and data stores. Now let's draw a zero level DFD diagram for college management system. The zero level DFD for college management system defines the overview of whole college management system. It is supposed to be an abstract view of uh, overall system. So this is also called as a context diagram for college management system in which entire system is represented as single process with its uh, relationship with external entities such as student, faculty, admin, etc. So here student represents the students enrolled in the college. Faculty represents the teaching staff of the college and admin represents the administrative staff responsible for managing the college. So now let's see the relationship between process and entity. So first let's see the relationship between student and college management process. First is student registration. So here data flow from students to college management system to register new students. Next we have course enrollment. So here data flow from student to college management system to enroll in courses. So once student enroll for courses, next we have course details. So here data flow from college management system to student and faculty to provide information about courses. Next is fee payment. So after taking admission, student will have to pay fee for that particular course. So data flow from student to college management system to pay fees. Next, we have a grade submission. So here data flow from faculty to college management system to submit grade for students. Next, we have academic records. Here data flow from college management system to student and faculty to provide uh, access to academic records. Next, we have reports and analytics. Here data flow from college management system to administration and faculty to generate reports and perform analytics. And last we have financial record. So here data flow from college management system to admin to maintain financial records. Now let's see level 1 DFD diagram. First level of the DFD or data flow diagram shows more emphasis on the concept of uh, context diagram. So this level is considered the expanded version of the previous diagram. So here I am adding four processes. First one is student enrollment. So it will handle the uh, enrollment process for new student. It includes activities such as collecting student information, verifying documents, assigning student IDs and updating the student database. Next is course management. So this process deals with uh, managing course offered by the college. It includes activities such as uh, course creation, updating course information, assigning faculty members to courses and maintaining the course catalog. Next we have uh, grade recording. It enables faculty to assign grade to students. And last we have manage attendance. So it allows faculty to record attendance for students. So all four processes are the sub processes of uh, college management. These sub processes comprise the important functions of the system which completes the whole project. 
here also i am taking three entities first is a student so it interacts with the system for various tasks such as enrollment course registration etc next we have faculty so faculty accesses the system to manage courses grades attendance etc and last we have uh, administrator so administrator oversees the entire system handles uh, user management or etc and uh, we have four database first is student database student database to stores information about enrolled students next is a course database which contains detail about course offered and next is a grade database to stores the grade assigned to students and last we have a attendance database to holds the attendance data for students now let's see how data will flow in this diagram so first student will share its information with student enrollment process so what enrollment process will do is it will verify the student documents and after verifying it they will enroll the student for the particular courses and after that they will share student id with student and after that uh, they will store the enrolled student info in the student database and next administrator manage entire course he or she can add update and delete courses and their details and faculty also can update the course detail and next course management process will assign faculty to different courses and student can view course detail which is shared by course management process and all course related information will be stored in the course database next for grade recording grade recording process needs student information so they will access the student database and get the student information and what faculty will do is they will submit the students grade information to grade recording process and uh, grade recording process will also need course detail to process the grade report so once it will prepared student can view their grade info and uh, same will be updated in the grade database next faculty will submit the students attendance record in the management attendance process after submitting it attendance management process will verify it and after that student can view their attendance and this record will also updated in the uh, attendance database now next is uh, second level dfd diagram so the first level uh, dfd for college management system represents how the system is divided into sub system and the second level provides more detail about student enrollment course management attendance management and grade recording so i am going to draw only one dfd diagram for level 2 you can draw multiple diagrams i will draw dfd for managing attendance so here we have three processes manage attendance it will allows faculty to record attendance for students next we have attendance report so it will generate the attendance report and uh, next we have course info so this process deals with managing course offered by the college and there are two external entities involved here first is student and second one is uh, faculty the student entity interacts with the system by providing their information and view attendance report and the faculty entity interacts with the system by accessing and updating attendance record and we have three database attendance record to store attendance information attendance report to store attendance report and course info which contains uh, detail about course offered now let's see how data will flow in this diagram so first student entity will provide attendance information to the manage attendance process and manage attendance process will access the course info from course info db and what faculty will do is they will submit the student attendance record in the attendance management process and the attendance management process uh, will validate and update the attendance record based on the information received and the updated attendance records are then stored and maintained in our database or storage system and same will access by the attendance report process so whenever the student or faculty want to access the student attendance report then they will send uh, the request to generate the report and after that they can view attendance report and same will be updated in the attendance report database so this is how you can draw different dfd diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add uh, various entities and different processes according to you 
so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos